Hello, it's Ainsley here. The North Veronica narrates, but I'm narrating this one because this is a topic I'm kind of an expert in, goth fashion. I am also a fashion design focus. So, Rainbow Shadow High Series 3 was recently revealed, and well, none of them are goth. This is concerning because, like, you know, ever since Shadow High started out, they started out grayscale with dolls like Heather, which was already edgier, more interesting, just a very cool aesthetic. And then me and the twins came out, which, well, of course, we're all amazingly goth. And you can't question it. Like, and even with, like, Fazzy Lens, like Costume Ball, you've got Demi with her little vampire outfit and her kind of more gothic style. And it's really cool. And then even Series 2, we have Glitch, who, well, who retains the goth aspect. Like, I mean, while it's not as obviously goth as past dolls, she still wears all black and she still dresses in a particular manner that could be classified as goth. And, well, we've also had dolls like Neon Shadow as well, who also, and like, and like Rex and Chanel, who's like, while their dolls aren't technically goth, they still come with like all black clothing, which is great for goth styles. <laughs> and then Neon Shadow, well, they're... They're definitely, while they're not completely goth, they're definitely alternative. And the thing with Shadow High, it started out goth, alternative, different from Rainbow High. So the, why in the world does Series 3 look completely non-goth? I mean, I know the Maroon one has alternative elements, but like, why is everyone else just not goth at all? Like, even the colors are have gotten brighter over time. Like, if you look at, at the progression of Shadow High line, the color schemes get more brighter and more vibrant. And oh, at first, we thought Neon Shadow would be the exception to the rule. But apparently, there's more dolls just as bright as them. And it's just, it's kind of jarring considering what Shadow High started out as. Shadow High started out with goth, alternative, and just different from Rainbow High. It had a unique vibe, a, a unique feel to it. But now, looking at Series 3 and the pictures that were leaked for it, it's like, what is this? Like, they, 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 they look like okay dolls, but for our, for our doll mommy, our owner... It doesn't feel the most Shadow High aesthetic to her. Like, the way she sees he's Shadow High. She sees it as goth, alternative. A different line from Rainbow High. With different styles. But, looking at that line, it's a little bit too different. The colors are going to take a lot for her to get used to. Because they're so much brighter. A lot of the characters don't even wear black in it. So there aren't as many goth outfit pieces to steal. And for her favorites in the line, the red, well, she likes the maroon one, of course, because the maroon one makes her think of Emmy, kind of. And she can definitely kind of restyle her a little bit. And then the, I think her name's Scarlet Rose. And then there's also Rosie Redwood, the red one, where it's like, she also looks promising. And and her dress and her boots underneath that that coat of hers do look like really, really nice pieces. Maybe even Laurel could wear stuff like that, but And for the red doll, she had a lot of hope because Well, you know how in the past red to video discussing black and red dolls? She mentioned she would love for a Shadow High doll to have a blood red color scheme. Well, Rosie Redwood almost fits that description, but she isn't goth. 
she is an alternative. And that is the, the, the concerning thing about it. And if you look at that line, none of them are grayscale. They're all bright. They're all colorful. It's not that I'm mad that they're colorful. Because look at Demi. She's colorful and she is gorgeous. But these dolls, you know, when it comes to use of color, everybody likes it when it's more creative. Not when it's bright and in your face all the time. That's why she has the whole goth waifu club because, well, we're all goth and we're all black. All we're black and it's really cool. And I know that the other goth waifu club members aren't here right now, but we're just talking about the goth dolls in the Shadow Highline specifically. It's something else that makes Shadow High special is that other doll lines seem scared to make goth dolls. They, they seem scared to use goth and alternative fashion in their lines. But with Shadow High, when it started, it was absolutely fearless with it. Like with dolls like Naomi and Veronica and all their breathtaking beauty. That couldn't have existed without that perfect goth aesthetic. Even me. I've always been goth. I was the first goth character in the whole Rainbow High show even. So I'm special in that case. But yeah, I've always been unapologetically goth. And yeah, and like... Shadow High, for a long time, hasn't been afraid to make goth dolls. Hasn't been afraid to put them in alternative clothing styles that you would never see Barbie or even a lot of Rainbow Highs dress in. But these Series 3 dolls just, they look like they're wearing, like, Rainbow High-esque outfits. Like, they don't look goth or alternative all that much. Yeah, I get the lavender one has, like, spikes in her beret, but, like, other than that, what even makes her goth or alternative? Like, she just looks like a cool-looking doll who looks kind of like Twilight Sparkle from Milo Pony Equestria Girls. No, and I don't mean any shade on anybody here, but our, our doll moon just doesn't relate to their aesthetics nearly as much. Like, she's tried to get behind it, but, and maybe she'll wait till she sees it in person, but until she's able to get behind this, she has trouble seeing the appeal of these non-goth, non-alternative aesthetics. Like, they're just a little too different for her right now. And something I've noticed a lot of people praising about Shadow High Series 3 is that there's more textured hair and stuff. And that the guy dolls actual rooted hair, which that's really cool and all. That's great, but like what what made Extreme High special is the fashion. The clothing the the dolls come with. But she likes it. I don't really like it when their clothes are like look really cool and really interesting and really unique. But the styles on these dolls don't look as unique. And that is, is concerning. I mean, I'm sure once she, she sees in person, maybe she'll change her mind a little bit, maybe warm up to it. But for now, she's having trouble adjusting to this. This is a very concerning de development for her. Especially considering what she saw in Naomi and Veronica when she first started collecting Shadow High and stuff. Because she loved the goth. She loved the alternative. She loved how beautifully that was handled. And now it's like... I mean, even look at them. Like, their color scheme. They have this gorgeous, like, purple, turquoise color scheme. Where it's like... It's bright and vibrant, in a way. Like, it's colorful. But it isn't too bright and vibrant. It, it is not too in your face. And it's still very dark and goth. 
and brooding. Like, that's what makes their, their color seem so special. Because it's colorful, but it's still dark. It's still goth. It still has a beautiful contrast to it. It's just like how, especially whenever you have those colors contrast with all the black that they wear, it's like, they're gorgeous. They're beautiful. Like, even Veronica, like, she has colorful elements, like her lipstick color and her eyeshadow, and their eyeshadow, and yet, it still looks so good with how everything you're wearing. That's why you such perfect dolls. And then Demi. Yeah, she may be an Elizabeth clone. She may have, like, this, like, brighter purple hair color and this, like, pink skin tone, but she still feels goth. She still feels very vampire-like. And it's very cool. It's very unique. It's very different. And she really stands out amongst the group of dolls for it. And those boots are amazing. And then Heather and Glitch, they are, like, also just done so well with the goth thing. Like, Heather? I mean, I don't know if it's emo or punk goth or whatever, but, like, her style just feels feels goth. It feels very cool. It feel, It's very eye-catching and unique. And the original ring she had in her hairstyle even made, even enhanced that look. Like, she was always very goth, very alternative. And it stood out. They're the reason she's, like, the fan favorite from, like, Shadow High Series 1. Because she's goth. She's gorgeous. And Glitch, well, she's also goth. Yet she also has, like, some blue tones to her, which, well, complement it and... Very nice contrast. Look really cool. I'm, I'm always hoping that Shadow High Series 3, even with the colors, would provide that contrast. Would allow them to be goth and alternative. It's just a shame that, that they aren't. And she's a little disappointed right now. Although we will definitely be, be getting Scarlet Rose and Rosie Redwood or something and, and reviewing them at some point. If they, when they come out, so. Yeah, that is going to be interesting. Those initial receptions of it. So, so far I don't have Domino's thoughts on the Shadow High Series 3 dolls specifically. Like each of them. So, Scarlet Rose, the, the maroon one actually looks pretty okay. She looks salvageable, like, she could be restyled to look really nice. So she's obviously, like, Adomi's favorite. Then Rosie Redwood, the red one, well, she also looks promising. That red dress and those boots look really cool, look like really nice pieces, even if they're not the most goth pieces ever. So there's that. She has that thing saving her, really. So she's, like, the second favorite. And then for the third favorite, probably the lavender one. Because she at least, while she's not goth or alternative, she looks interesting. And, and like we said, she could be restyled to look a little better if we have to. And then after her, it's probably the, the turquoise one who looks... A little bit like who who looks a bit like Zoe's color theme, mixed with like Honey Swamp from Monster High. She looks okay. She isn't our doll mommy's personal favorite. And also another thing with the lavender one, she wears glasses. That's really cool. Our doll mommy's wears glasses, so. That's another point for her, I guess. Cementing her as, like, the third favorite. And then the least favorite? It's the guy. I know. I know. He's the part most diverse of them all. Literally has an African-American protective hairstyle. But 
She just, the boy dolls are just not her personal favorites. And she, she just feels the style is just a little bit too sporty. Just that that's it. He looks sporty and she just really isn't in sporty dolls very much. So that's kind of weighing him down a little bit. On how she ranked them. So number one. So just to reiterate this. And the reason why for each for the rankings. Number one is Scarlet Rose, the maroon doll, because she reminds her of Emmy, has more alternative vibes than the others already. So she, so she looks very promising that way. Number two is Rosie Redwood, because that red dress and those boots could potentially be very nice pieces. And she thinks her hair color is like a nice, really cool looking color. For the third favorite, it's like... It's the lavender one. Lavender lilac or something? But she is the lavender one. She's reminiscent of Twilight Sparkle from Equestria Girls. And also, another thing that worked out, I don't know, actually kind of preach it about her, is she wears glasses. And she, like, thinks that's really cool to have another, like, Grim High Shadow High doll that, that, that wears glasses. And the, and the simple black frames would be very versatile so many dolls, too. So the glasses are kind of like her saving grace. And then there's the the other three where it's like... there the, the turquoise one looks interesting, but she really doesn't look the most impressive to her owner. She doesn't really relate to her that much. The guy looks interesting. It's nice to see rooted hair, but it's not a little sporty. Then the least favorite, per usual, is the pink doll. Pinky or something. Not Pinkie Pie for My Little Pony. Even though her color seems reminiscent of Pinkie Pie for My Little Pony. But the pink doll. I don't know my personal feels personally feels like she looks a bit too much. Like dolls like Mara or Lola, but without like that more goth alternative edge. So she's last on the list. Just because she looks the least original, the least interesting. Like, she literally looks like Mara with micro braids in a way. And that that just feels unoriginal. But yeah, that's her order for how she would rank these dolls. And of course, for all out of all dolls coming out, the very top of her list is probably that white-haired, fair-skinned custom about the blue eyes. To customize into white Shani from Ruby, but... Yeah. Well, I'm sorry if this was a little ranty and a little long, but... Our doll mommy just wanted to talk about this. And her initial, like, like receptions and opinion on the Shadow High Series 3 leaks. And if she warms up to them, maybe she'll warm up to them. Maybe she won't warm up to them. But for now, she has a very mixed opinions on it. And that's what we're going to discuss. Well, Veronica, can I do the closing? Sure, Ainsley. Well, goodbye, mysterious audience. I love you. Veronica loves you. N Naomi loves you. And the whole goth waifu club adores you.